Well, I've been running around here this morning, haven't got a chance to go to the barn yet. We got some horses to train, but the track is a little hard. As you can imagine, it's minus four and there's still a little dampness in the air. So it really makes it for a, really makes for a, a firm surface. So we had rows above it to train because he's a little short heading into next week. He didn't get in this week. Uh, not the end of the world. I really toyed with the idea of sending him to, um, really toyed with the idea of sending him to the meadows, but I think I'll wait a week, at least a week for that. And we'll see how it plays out. Um, also, uh, White Tiger has to train also today and will to win Hanover. So they should train probably around 11 o'clock with the track starts to loosen up and soften up. So it's about 9.30 right now. We're going to be heading there momentarily to get some horses trained. Holly, you got to sit up, sweetie. You can't, you can't do that. So uh, this video, though, is for our clients, my partners in Arches Rainbow. It's been a real frustrating thing. Hey, shh, shh. It's been a real frustrating time with Arches Rainbow because I know how she looks. Harry and Nellie have her looking so good. It's it's really, really uplifting. And then Harry came to me and we had had problems with her uh, starting into the summer where she'd make a noise, we'd scope her. There was what the vet called a little laxity on the left side and ulcer on her palate. You know, she had some pimples, she had some mucus. So we just stopped with her, turned her out. And the vet, the surgeon, everybody said the same thing I said, which was, she'll mature, right? We bring her back, train her down. She got the 215. She looks so good. Harry said, geez, man, I still hear a little flutter when she's training. I heard it the one day. Yeah, shh, it's okay. I heard it the one day, and then we got her scoped. That laxity was still there. That uh, con chondritis, chondritis was there, which is that ulcer on the arytenoid area and um, some of these names are technical so maybe might be a little off um, so we had two bet scoper and they said yeah we're gonna do that tie back surgery but to do that surgery we have to reduce the swelling in the arytenoid area and get rid of that ulcer it makes sense right so for a month we had her on antibiotics we had her on anti-inflammatories we got it down what I thought was down the veterinarian rescoped her and said yeah she is ready to go now you have to be, understand this completely. There obviously is a difference between a veterinarian and a surgeon, right? The veterinarian looks at it, gives the recommendations, but the surgeon is the one that has to do the work and has seen so many of these. Now we do, we use a number of veterinarians. Orleth is great at uh, Ontario Equine Clinic. Um, Natalie Cote has been fantastic for us. Even Mark Desjardins. All these people are very, very good at their job. So I completely this up to them. This isn't me saying, oh, I don't think so, and uh, maybe not. It's completely up to them. So we, we made the appointment. Um, we looked around for the earliest appointment, finally, to get this tie back done. I spoke to you guys in length about it over a couple of videos when it came to the Philly. We literally transported her to the Ontario Equine Hospital down by Woodbine, the thoroughbred track. Now, I trust implicitly the the thought process when it comes to this filly or really any of her horses when it comes to Natalie Cote as I said or the uh, uh, Mark Desjardins people who we've done work with before the ball is completely in their court so I get a call yesterday from Natalie she said Anthony um, I'm looking at your filly she has some con chondroitis on that arytenoid there's still a tiny ulcer there she goes I'm worried there might be a little infection in there I said okay she goes, you've a number of options. She goes, my least favorite of any of them would be operating on this filly right now. She goes, if I go in there, and I talked to her extensively about how this filly had made noise last year. This is why we stopped her. This isn't something that come up. Would you not think that being turned out for three months would allow this to heal up? Is this not actually a problem that needs addressing in a medical, surgical manner? That is just me saying it from a layman's terms. I'm just giving you the rundown from what I see, from what Harry sees, from a trainer standpoint, you do what you want with it. She said, yes, I agree, but when you talk about infection in that arytenoid area, it can be walled off, it can be deep in the tissue, and it's really pesky and difficult to, to uh, combat. Now, obviously, a side note, my concern was, okay, let's say you're right, let's say we clean this up. Would that area, the way it is structured, not be prone to another ulcer, right? She said, that's a fair question. I don't think so. So the take from the surgeon was simple. Please
please give her one more month. I don't really want to hear that because now we're getting into missing the first part of a three-year-old season, potentially. But having said that, one sec, sweetheart. One second, sweetheart. But it always has to be about what's best for the horse. Do we want to go in and, and do a tieback surgery, a surgery that is completely invasive, when if we had given her another month on medication, it may have it may have cleaned up. There is nothing saying that it will. She may end up needing the tie back in, in three, four weeks anyway. But what Natalie had asked, Dr. Cote had asked was, can we just wait another three weeks to see if we can treat this and clean it up? She goes, I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm leaning towards that it will. She said, but if you ask me today, I know water, it's frozen. What's water when it freezes? What's it look like? What is it called? Ice? That's right, ice. Why is she saying icy boy? I don't know. The ice water may rattle. Yeah. More ice over there. Look at the ice over there. Water rattle. So what we're... Okay, well, one sec, Addy Bear. I got to finish this video, sweetheart. So what, what I'm left with is, is a number of, let's say, conflicting reports, but a number of different paths we can take. I understand where the surgeon is coming from, and as I said, I trust her opinion, first and foremost. We don't want to do invasive surgeries on horses if it's not completely necessary, and she doesn't feel that all the stones have been unturned yet. She doesn't feel that she is at that point just this second to do that tie back. She's happy to do it, and she likely will. I believe she likely will in three weeks, but I think we we owe it to, um, I think we owe it to, Stop. Stop. I think we owe it to the Philly, Arches Rainbow, to take the three weeks that the surgeon has asked for us and do it right. We can't always do everything perfectly, but we can do them right when we're supposed to. In three weeks' time, if by chance, I don't I won't use the word miracle, but in by some chance she's cleaned up and the veteran and the surgeon says, see, I don't think you're gonna need it. My my biggest, I guess. The turning point in the whole conversation is when I asked her point blank, is this not something that if it does by some stroke of luck clean itself up and fix itself, you know, through, not itself, but through medication, through antibiotics and anti-inflammatories, if this does heal up, is the structure of that throat not such that it will reappear? It will come back again or maybe again and again. She said, no, not from what I see in the scope. I don't see any structural problems with this filly. And I think that was the deciding factor for me. Uh, that and the fact that we don't want to be doing invasive surgeries on horses if they may or may not need it. So for those of you out there, I was just going to post this. Uh, I was just going to post this for my partners on... Hey. I was just going to post this for my partners on Arches Rainbow. But then I thought, this is a good learning experience for everybody. We have a filly that has a problem. It is fixable but it's fixable in many, many different ways. When I take everything into account, first and foremost, the recommendations of the surgeon herself, who's seen hundreds if not thousands of these issues and fixed many of them, both surgically and medically. Taking into account her recommendations, I believe that we should wait the three weeks. It is bumping up close because it isn't just three weeks to do the surgery and away we go. No, 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 it's three weeks do the surgery, then you've got to let this as a specific surgery where you have sutures in, in soft tissue in her throat, you have to let that heal up completely. So it's not three weeks, it's seven weeks. And we've already been four. So now you're looking at 11. You're almost three months away from the track by the time you get her back on there. Now, is there ways we can expedite that? Can she go on a treadmill? Can she go in a pool? I don't think so because this is an area of her throat that has to be kept quiet. You can't inflame it and overwork it until it's ready to work. So we're gonna have to ride this out. First and foremost, the filly looks like a million dollars. She she looks fantastic. The job that Harry and Nelly both do on a regular basis, but 100% have done on this filly is incredible. She looks great. I'm not completely concerned, a little bummed out. I wanted her racing by now, but instead we have to take the time to, as Natalie said, do it right. We don't wanna make a mistake when it comes to something as invasive as a tieback surgery. So that's where we're at. I know it's a very long, email or a very long video but I wanted to make sure I articulated to you the way it was articulated to me I believe I have so 
when it comes to Arches Rainbow, we are going to wait the extra three weeks. She was there, prepped, ready to go. The surgeon made the decision, asked me to make the decision. Can we wait three more weeks and treat her? Absolutely yes. She is already booked in for three weeks from now or four weeks from yesterday, I believe, um, to get the surgery done if she needs it. So there won't be any more waiting after that period. But for now, we're in a holding pattern again with Arches Rainbow. Think big picture, right? And that's all I can ask everybody to do. We have a very, very good horse. Let's do it right. Take care.